Hello, Tree Tops third graders. Today we are doing lesson 15.5 on making bar graphs. And so we had some bar graphs the other day, but today we're going to make them. And so on number one, also to make sure you've watched the visual learning and other look videos before you do this, because it is going to refer back to the videos. So on number one, you've got the little table and it shows, and I didn't draw all it out, so all of it out, but you've got chess, six people picked chess, the number of people who signed up for classes, six people picked chess, 10 people picked guitar, seven people picked painting, and then nine people picked writing. Now what you have on your paper is the outline of the bar graph, you've got your um, scale over here, so it shows you the number of people. They counted by one, so they numbered zero through 10. And then down here are the classes they signed up for. I forgot to write that, classes. So then what you are going to do is you're going to draw the bars. So you're gonna draw a bar that goes up to the six for chess. You're gonna draw a bar that goes up to the 10 for guitar. You're gonna draw a bar that goes up to the seven for painting and a bar that goes up to the nine for writing. Now you can color those bars in, you can you know make designs, you can do whatever you want. You can just leave the bars like I did. So it's up to you. Now notice there is a title and then we have the labels on the side so down here we have the classes that they signed up for, chess, guitar, painting, writing, and then over here it's showing the number of people and on this particular graph it's counting by ones. Then for number two, you have to go back to the video. And so, and it said how, uh, let me look at the exact question. It says, explain why the bar for January ends between 20 and 30. Well, the bar for January was 25. And if you're looking on a number line, the um, 25 would be right in between the 20 and 30. We'd have 20, 30, and then 25 would be right in the middle of 20 and 30. It's like, you know, when you count my fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? And so that's why, because they counted by tens, the 25 is between the 20 and the 30. And then on number three, it says, if Greg saved $35 in May between what two grid lines? So again, think about, you're looking at the number line. Remember we used to have it in my classroom, Homer? All right, and so we're counting 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, okay? So between what two grid lines would we find 35? You got it. We would find it between 30 and 40 because when we're counting on the number line, 35 would be right in between the 30 and the 40. Okay, <clears throat> and so then on number four, it said if one less player played chess. So we start with that. So six people played chess. Six minus one is, yep, five. All right, then let me see how it was worded. It said, um, suppose one less student signed up for chess. In which class is the number of students twice the number now signed up for chess? And so if we now multiply by two, because anytime you see twice as many, or if you see double, you multiply by two. So then five times two is what? Yep, it is 10. So then when you look at the little thing, what does it show you? 10, exactly, guitar, 10 people, so right here, 10 people signed up for guitar. We can tell by looking at the bar graph, and again, remember how I want you to put the numbers at the top of the bar, so anytime you're doing a bar graph or when you're doing a pictograph, put the numbers out beside it because that will help you solve the problems related to that, okay? 
And so as always, after you do that, when you do your independent practice, you have a um, table, you complete the bar drive, and then on the back, do number nine, that's the one with the star by it, and then you can pick one more or do all of them, because remember, the more you practice, the better off you're gonna be. Because you know how our brains work, either use it or lose it, we want to use it. And so, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time.